Today I want to show you what might be the best OBD2 scanner for about 50 euros. It is Fincar BD6. It is just this Bluetooth dongle that you will use with your smartphone using ThinkDiac Plus app. Now this app will give you free lifetime updates so all you have to do is buy this adapter for about 50 euros and you can use it for a lifetime. And these adapters actually don't really go bad so you can use it for many many years. And even though it is priced as cheap basic scanner, this scanner is actually full system. So you can go into every control module, you can read codes, you can clear codes, you can erase them. You can check live data in every control module. So this scanner is good to check used vehicle. You can use it to solve your problems, problem in any system, whether it is airbag, transmission, radio, you can scan all system with this one. So advanced scanner for cheap price with free lifetime updates. So I know you will like this one. And now I will connect it to my car and I will show you in action what it can do. By the way, if you are new to this channel, I am Yuri, I test OBD2 scanners, I have tested hundreds of them, and all the best scanners I have put on my website, on the page OBD2 scanner guide, it is linked in the description, and on that page you can choose best OBD2 scanners by budget type or car brand. And if you are not sure which scanner type is for you, click the link on top, download my OBD2 scanner buyer's guide, and I will send you a short PDF which explains differences between scanners and you will know which one is right for you. Okay, so once you have ThinkDiac Plus app downloaded, you have to log in or create account. Then you want to connect adapter to your OBD port, usually under the dashboard, in some cases in fuse box or in center console. Then you want to start up, start ignition so scanner can communicate. And you can go ahead and use this VIN scan, which should detect car model based on VIN number. However, this works only on newer cars. So I go ahead, I paired my dongle and first it wants to download this auto search software which detects what car model I have. However, I have old car and it wasn't able to detect my car model. So all I have to do is just download Volkswagen software and I will access it straight from Volkswagen. Okay, so once Volkswagen is downloaded, just click it. It wants me to enter VIN number, but I just hit cancel and now I can go ahead and do health report without inputting VIN number. This really surprised me that health report, which is scan of all control modules, is really fast on this Golf. On this Golf I have tried it with different scan tools, professional scan tools, maybe three or four of them, and all of them took like two or three minutes. OBD11 also took three minutes to scan all systems. But funny thing, this BD6 actually could scan all control modules in this Golf in about 30 seconds, 30 something seconds. I left this part of video untouched, so it is not sped up. You can see it is 35, 36, 37 seconds to scan all modules. So cheapest scanner, but for this Golf, it is fastest. It is faster than $500 scan tools for some reason. Okay, so now I have all modules scanned. I can do this report of fault codes. So this is report for my Volkswagen. There is one issue in climate control module. Now, if I open fault code, I can even use AI. So this app has built in AI and AI will give me a little guide of what I should do next. So if you are not sure what to do about some fault codes, you can ask AI and it will tell you why you have this code and what you have to do to solve it. So, so far it's pretty good scanner, full system. AI and even free lifetime updates. So you only pay once. Uh, by the way, the tool will be linked in the description if you want to go ahead and buy it. So next in every control module, what you can do, you can read codes separately for that module. You can clear faults, which may not work for this fault because it is open or short to ground. So when there is electrical fault in wiring, most likely you will be not able to erase that fault because it is permanent. But this is not fault of BD6 scanner. You cannot do it with any scan tool. Okay, next what you can look in every control module, you can look at live data. So I can check all of these different parameters and this is only for climate control module. Now, if you want, you can also combine some of these data so you can build custom pages of data you want to look at. Or you can even record this data when you are doing some diagnosing and you don't want to look at your phone because you are driving, you can record this data and check them later. And then for every module, you can also see this module information. So this is advanced identification and advanced stuff like serial numbers, coding numbers, part number for climate control module. And you can check this information for all modules in car. So let me go back. We can go to different module. For example, let's go to engine. And once again, now we are inside engine, we can read live data, 
see there is 276 engine parameters we can see only in engine control module with this scanner so this scanner can pull out a lot of data now you can also use live data graphing i will show you let me select some of this data we can do absolute throttle position let's do combine i will select few of these parameters hit ok and now we are inside graph you can watch i believe up to four different values in one graph here i try to turn my phone but it doesn't work like that so you can only use it in vertical and yeah this is absolute throttle position now i am pressing on gas pedal a little bit so you can see some change see when i pressed it all the way it went up to the 100 so 100 percent open so you can also use live data graphs now if i go back now I am still in engine module, so I can read codes only for engine, and engine doesn't have any faults. And now if I go back, I want to show you one more thing. If you go to main tab, here are maintenance software. So not only this is full system scanner, free updates, AI, you also have five service resets. So you have oil reset, immobilizer reset, electric throttle relearn, ABS bleeding and brake reset. So even if you have modern car with chip scanner like this, you will still be able to reset your oil so you can change your oil. You can change your brake pads even if you have electronic brake calipers you can open them using this scanner and it also got obd tab so obd tab is set of functions basically what obd tab is is same like if you have engine code reader engine code reader works on every car but it only scan engine faults engine data and show you readiness monitors so this obd tab is basically built in engine code reader especially if you are working on some car and you cannot find it in this fincar software you can use this obd and you will still be able to access obd system of that car so it will detect protocol my car is using protocols are something like obd2 language dialects all cars from certain year like 1996 plus depending on location must support one of these protocols so now the thing car is trying to find out which one is installed in my golf okay now it find it and i can see this welcome screen with fault codes status of check engine light and if i press ok i have these options for example i can check readiness monitors and i can see state and health of my emission systems or engine health in general so i can see most of them are ready so engine is in good shape then you can read fault codes you can either select generic or select their car brand but i don't have any fault code so there isn't point in selecting my vehicle brand you can read live data now difference between live data here and live data you see before is that here we have only these basic parameters but these parameters will be there for every car so if you are looking for something basic like fuel trims or oxygen sensor data you can find it more easily in obd tab if i go in volkswagen it may have different name there is a lot more data so it is hard to find these basic ones so if i want to look at basic data i am using this obd tab and now i have also my old passat here so we can swap cars and we will check it out in older vehicle which is passat 1999 diesel car not easiest car to work with for obd2 scanner so we can check out how fincar bd6 can handle this okay so now i am connected to my obd port already but this time i have to input vin number i tried to hit cancel but it doesn't work and unfortunately i cannot do health report without inputting my vin number so i will do it manually input my vin number hit ok and health report will start automatically now in this old passat every scan tool i am using takes about five minutes to scan all modules now here full scan was little longer about eight minutes so for golf it was exceptionally fast for this old passat it is a little bit slower than average but this is normal when you work with really old cars like this passat they are hard to work with if you have new car it is scanned like in one or two minutes but now the scan is finished we have one faulty control module so we have three different fault codes in comfort system this is something like body module once again i can do this fault code report i can use ai think gpt to help me understand what this code means and what i should do to fix it and other than that it is same like in golf same for every car you can go into every system open every control module in every control module you can read codes clear codes read data and read information about control module and of course use service procedures now if you are interested about languages if you go to settings you can change unit of measurements so i will always choose metric and from languages these are your options so we have a bunch of languages you can choose 
And yeah, that is basically it. I mean, I really recommend Finkar BD6, full system scanner for about 50 euros, so very cheap. One of cheapest OBD2 scanners you can buy. Yet, still is able to access all systems, read all live data, do even some service procedures. So it is fairly advanced scanner, definitely advanced for its price. And if you want to buy it, links will be in description.